Okay, so figure eight. You have a military baton. Do you see this? So the head of the baton goes by your elbow. And the way you hold onto the baton is you have three fingers, your uh, pinky, ring, and, and uh, middle, sort of just grabbing around it. And you have your thumb basically placed at least on your uh, index and middle. With your finger, I guess you could, you could just have your finger pointing forward like this. So your hand should like the, uh, should look like this. So when you start figure eight, you want the baton, the head to be by your elbow, but you want it to be behind your arm, like this. So it's behind. And so the first thing you do is you push it down. And so when I push it down, I don't do anything with my hand just yet. But then as I continue to push it down, I move from here and I kind of grab it to where now the baton is in between my thumb and my index finger and then that's where it basically sits so after I grab it between these two fingers I can release my other three and then now they're sort of on top of it so see now I've done a full rotation of the uh, figure eight and so from here with the three fingers here you can push it down and so it should look like this and this looks this looks complicated but when you look at it your hand isn't really doing much your hand if you look at your fingers your hand it really isn't even moving it's all that you're doing is your wrist at this point see um so to show it fast for what it should look like it should look like this And this isn't like an actual move we use in drum majoring, like at in and of itself, but to do flourishes, for instance, if you look closely, you're kind of doing it. Now that, that was more of a half flourish, but it, it goes for both half flourish or regular flourish. So it's important to get this just basic move down. Um, and so when I do this though, so follow the head. Uh, when it's, when the head is in front of my arm, I'll say in when the head is in the back of my arm, I'll say out. So right now it's out, head in, head out, head in. And whenever the head is in, the tip is out. Whenever the head is out, tip is in. So it's sort of like from this angle to show it better. That's what it should basically be like, if that makes sense.